Welcome to the Daily Insight for Monday, April 2nd. Thank you to all of you who have sent me such wonderful messages. And yes, I am all better now. I'm feeling much more like myself, a lot more energy, that's for sure. We are gonna look at two cards for love, two cards for career and finance, and I am gonna do it a little bit different this time. I am going to actually uh, combine the two like I always do, but I'm gonna pull the Romance Angel card at the end. That way I'm bringing both of them together at the end so it all ties in together. So the first two cards we have for love is the Two of Pentacles followed by the King of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles is about feeling grounded. It's about making sure that everything that we're looking at in our life makes us feel centered and grounded, where we feel confident in making decisions, we feel confident in everything that's being thrown at us in our life. And definitely when it comes to love, this can be balancing love and career. This can be balancing two different people, okay? Some of you are on the dating scene where you're trying to balance things out in your life. And what I'm seeing actually is there's a group of you where you are actually going through that. You're trying to feel balanced because you just met somebody. Now, keep in mind this is for a seven day period of time. So you may meet them today or over the next seven days. It's a seven day period of time frame. This person coming into your life, whether you just met them or you will be meeting them, very grounded individual themselves. They've got their life put in a very um, secure way. They're very methodical in the way they think. Some, some, some of these people could be a little bit OCD, okay? They have to do things in certain systematic way. Um, analytical, yep. This new person coming in is a very nurturing individual and it's somebody that you may meet around work. This could be an event that, it, it, anything to do with your career, anything to do with your money, anything to do with what you do for a living. You're going to meet them in that setting, okay? This could be walking into your financial investor and meeting this person. You're gonna know this person. They're gonna be staring at you, okay? I'm seeing them intently staring at you where they think you are, whoa, like you're the bomb. And it's gonna take you by surprise. This is a really lovely energy. This type of a person that you're going to meet is ready for a permanent relationship. They are going to want to take it slow. They're one, they will want to get to know you really well, which is perfect, absolutely perfect. The better we get to know somebody before we jump in and start creating, you know, through sex, we open up emotions that we may not be ready for. This person wants to take things slow and they want to get to know you so that by the time you get to that point in the relationship, everything just falls into place. Very, very grounded energy. Now for another group of you, you've been dealing with an authoritative figure in your life. This is on a general family, friends type of a relationship where this person you hold in high regard, they've been trying to advise you on how to do things in your life and you may feel a little bit chaotic, okay? It may be different than what you're used to. Now you know that they know what they're talking about, okay? They're very, very grounded. They're financially secure. They've created a world that is very prosperous around them. So what I'm being guided to tell you in this particular situation is to listen to this person. Yes, it may throw you out of balance. You're not used to doing it that way. But keep one foot on the ground and pay attention to what they are telling you because it is actually very valuable information. This could be a parent, a grandparent, an uncle, a best friend. This is somebody, it could be a boss, okay? You could be somebody around your work. This person knows how to create financial stability. So heed what they're telling you. And yes, just keep things in focus, keep things all centered and balanced, and you're gonna be able to follow suit with them very, very well 
creating a really good life for yourself. Now, when we're looking at um, career and finance, and I had already pulled these cards, we have the Lover's card and the Ten of Pentacles. So the Lover's card is all about making a choice. When we're talking career, we're going to be making a choice in what direction do we want to go. For some of you, I mean, you want to create this beautiful environment around you. You want the stable, secure environment. Doesn't mean that you want to be a millionaire. It means that you want to feel safe and secure in your and uh, everything around you, in your savings account, the way you pay your bills, making sure you pay them on time. You have a choice because there is an opportunity coming to you. This is an offer. It's a new job offer. This person, you've already met them. You already know who they are. You have met them through your work. I see a work environment. Now, they are in charge of a very large group of people. This could be a CEO of a company actually own their own business, but they like what they see and they are coming in to offer you um, a position within their organization. Yep. You may be taken back a little bit because the position that they want to offer you is a higher level than where you're at. And you might be thinking, I don't know if I can do this. So you're trying to make a decision, do I accept this position? Now, keep in mind you could have just recently been offered this position or it's coming today, tomorrow, over the next few days. Keep one foot on the ground and really look at the situation from all angles. Stay focused and stay grounded when you're trying to evaluate this. For some of you, this is an excellent opportunity for you to actually prosper and move forward in an upward manner and get the financial uh, payment that is actually due to you based on your work abilities. So it's all about you making a choice. Which direction do I go to get this in my life? Now, for another group of you, when we're talking about love, we are looking at a situation. You're putting a lot of time into your work. You're debating, do I need to put more time into my actual love life? Okay, you may be out of balance. You know, in order to have things in our life all feel secure, safe and secure, we do need to put things in balance. And you're looking at it, do I need to put more effort and energy into my love life? And I'm being told, yeah, to tell you, yes. You need to make sure that you are enjoying the social setting, getting out there, putting yourself out there, taking a risk. You're willing to take a risk financially and you throw yourself into your work. All of these cards, except for the lovers, is all about finances, okay? You really need to take an, another look and the universe is saying, yeah, make a choice to actually put a little more emphasis in your love life. And this does pertain to that group of you where I said somebody's gonna come in if they haven't just recently, you're gonna meet somebody. So yeah, take the time, make the time. It's about self-love, okay? Dating is about self-love. It's about enjoying the moment, being with somebody and actually enjoying them. So let's see how the romance card ties in with this. Okay, heart-to-heart -heart conversation and reconciliation. Both of these cards came out. So somebody from your past is going to come back, which may be why you're having this decision to make. Do I move forward with them? Or do I move forward without them? For those of you where you will have somebody from your past coming back, okay, this is about reconciliation. Have the heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Make sure that the two of you are actually on the same page. Whatever took place in the past is in the past, but you wanna make sure that they have also grown as much as you have. If you've grown and if you haven't, then you won't even look at this at all. All right, this is about those of you who have grown, you've healed, you've put the energy and effort into yourself 
self-love. Put yourself first. Is this person coming into my life somebody that I can actually create a stable, secure environment in my love life? And the answer for many of you is going to be yes. It just depends. That heart-to-heart -heart conversation is huge. For those of you where you don't have somebody coming back from the past, you have a soulmate coming in, okay? Reconciliation in, in this particular meaning is somebody that you know from a past life as well. It doesn't have to be in this life. So some of you are going to meet a soulmate and it will be around your work. So make sure you check back and forth throughout the seven day period of time. I wish you a wonderful day and much love.